The iPad first generation, wow, what a device. Released almost 14 years ago on April 3rd of 2010, this was the first iPad ever. Today you see iPads everywhere and in many cases they've replaced paper and books. Now unlike literally every other iPad, this iPad doesn't have cameras, but it does have every other feature that set the foundation for future iPads. Today, we will be testing to see which features on the original iPad still work, and is this iPad still usable in 2024? Now many of you are probably wondering what were the specs on this iPad. Well they are obviously drastically different from what we have today. This iPad ships with an A4 processor that was a single core 1 gigahertz processor. It had 256 megabytes of RAM. It had 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte storage configurations and it also had a Wi-Fi and a cellular option. Now this model in particular is the 64 gigabyte cellular model which is crazy because that was the top of the line back then and now my iPad 9th gen base model is a 64 gigabyte. Now let's begin to talk about what can you still do with this iPad in 2024. Now if any of you saw my last video link will be right here or in the description I highly recommend that you watch that but if you saw it you would see that uh, it was still able to get on the App Store and the iTunes Store and play some music and kind of surf the web, but it was really slow. But today, things have changed. It has been three years since I made that video. So let me just go ahead and show you if I try to connect to the App Store. Well, if I try to connect to the App Store, it actually does show some apps now. Um, but the odds of you actually being able to get one of those apps are very low because of lack of compatibility. So if I go to Netflix and try to install it, it just says this app is incompatible with this iPad. You will be very hard pressed to actually find an app still compatible with the first generation iPad. So I just tried to sign into the app store to view my purchase history in hopes of maybe downloading an older version of an app and then it just tells me that it cannot connect to the app store. It'll tell me to sign in a bunch then I'll sign in and then it will just fail again. So as you can see, the App Store is basically useless on the first generation iPad. If we go to the iTunes Store over here, cannot connect to the iTunes Store. Very sad that this original iPad can no longer connect to the App Store or to the iTunes Store. Anyways, let's go ahead and test Safari. I'm actually very curious to see what's going to happen. I have a feeling that it's just not going to work. Okay, well, YouTube at least loaded a little bit. Okay, so as we can see, YouTube just does not want to load at all. Yeah, to be honest, not sure why it can't completely load it. I guess just because of the age of the web browser here. Let's go to Apple.com. Okay, so it somewhat appears to have loaded, but not really. As you can see, it's just insanely glitchy, not fully loaded at all. Honestly, it probably takes just about all of the device's RAM since it only has 256 megabytes. But as you can see, Safari is at best barely usable, but definitely not usable on a daily basis. Okay, so the last thing that we are going to test is actually messages, because even though the App Store and iTunes Store don't work, somehow iMessages still does. So, we can go ahead and test it out here. As you can see, iPad first gen received it. And there we go. So, iMessage does indeed work on the first generation iPad. The last thing I just wanted to show you just because it was kind of unique to back in the day was the app switcher as you can see is very different from nowadays. This is how you would close apps out of the background and then you could swipe over and see your brightness control and your volume control for music. 
Okay, so that's about it for the iPad first generation in 2024. It can't really do a whole lot, but it was really cool just to go back and revisit it. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel as well as hit that bell icon so you're notified as soon as any new videos come out. If you have any questions or comments or even video requests, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one.